Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Let's check this out, man. So today we have a um, we have a video because I just saw, I uh, believe it was on, I don't even want to say the source because I want, I want to get it wrong, but it was either Fight Hype or Fight Hub. I saw a little interview with uh, Gary Antoine Russell. And those of you who don't know, you know, he will be fighting this weekend on Saturday and June 15th, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the, bo the boxing news, the, cir the news that's circulated right now has been dominated by uh, Javante Tank Davis versus Frank Martin, you know what I'm saying? Tank versus Frank, and rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? He's a big star. And then, of course, after that, you know, people are excited about David Benavidez, uh, Lamont Stro versus uh, Alexander Vazdik, you know, that's a great fight. And then, of course, Subaru Matias versus Liam Paro. And Steve Subaru Matias has something to do with this, right? So, Gary Antoine Russell was asked about um, who does he like to fight, assuming he beats his next opponent this Saturday in Alberto Puello, who nobody to look over, right? He's an undefeated fighter, tall, rangy fighter, and um, you know, that's his battle. You know, of course, we have Car Carlos Adames versus Terrell Guasha as well on that undercard of Tank versus Frank. But, um, you know, uh, in, in, in typical fashion, Gary Antoine Russell fashion, man, you know, uh, uh, it seemed like the interviewer was trying to gold him into calling out Devin Haney, if you will. But, you know, he did mention David Haley, but Gary, Gary Antoine Russell, what I thought was dope, he said he wants Subaru Matias next. Out of all the champions at 140, he wants Subaru Matias. Right? But if you had a preference out of any of those guys, if it was your world, you choosing, who's, who would it be next for you? I would say Subrio Matias. Why? Because... Everybody keep looking at him as like the bully of 140. My nigga. And it, the funny thing is that we were just talking about this during the live stream yesterday, man. I was saying, man, you know, hypothetically speaking, I think one of the best matches at 140 that's going under the radar is Gary Antoine Russell versus Subrio Matias, a potential matchup. Assuming Subrio Matias beats Liam Parvo. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think stylistically, Gary Antoine Russell and Subrio Matias match up very well because, you know, uh, uh, they both like to bang. I think Subaru Matias bangs better than Gary Antoine Russell. What? Pause. <laughs> that sounded crazy. But yeah, I think um, Subaru Matias is a better banger than um, Gary Antoine Russell. However, uh, Gary Antoine Russell has power and he's slick. But the thing about Gary Antoine Russell, sometimes he gets hit. You know, sometimes he doesn't always use his slickness. Um, but but I, I love his fighting style. You know, he's a very complete fighter, in my opinion. And I just love the fact that he called out Subaru Matias because, you know, a lot of people consider Subaru Matias as the boogeyman in 140. Nobody wants to fight him. But Gary Antoine Russell said he wants to be undisputed. And he didn't just say that lightly. He's saying that, hey, man, I want to show you I want undisputed. And he called out Subaru Matias. I bet he figures, like, hey, you know, stylistically, I think that's his best matchup or his or most difficult matchup. And if he beats him, I think, you know, the path to undisputed won't be easy, but it'll be, I think that would be the toughest task for him because similar to why I say that Liam Paro, people are overlooking Liam Paro, I said that Liam Paro should be a good matchup for Subaru Matias because he's a slick fighter. Now, Liam, Liam Paro, the question is, can he be, is he slick enough? That I don't know. I think Gary Antoine Russell is slick enough. And like I said, sometimes he gets hit, but he shows glimmers of, 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 of elusive greatness. You know what I'm saying? He's very, he can be very evasive. And like I said, he has power and he throws good combinations. Like Gary Antoine Russell, sometimes he gets hit a little bit too much, I feel like, for his capability. But you know, other than that, you know, I think he's a very complete fighter. I would love to see that fight at 140. You know, um, the 140 is a great, is a great, is a great, um, is a great division anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because in, in, in addition to that, you know, I was uh, talking about Jack Catterall and Teofimo Lopez. You know, I currently think Teofimo Lopez is is a slight. He has a slight advantage as far as being the best at 140 right now. Of course, you have Isa Pippo Cruz, who's, who's one of my favorite fighters uh, in all of boxing right now. It's very exciting. Um, he's good. Uh, uh, Super Matias is formidable. Of course, Devin Haney's coming back. He has, he has to prove a lot, right? He has to prove a lot, you know, coming off that devastating... Um a controversial uh, loss to Ryan Garcia, so he still has to prove a lot. But um, yeah, Gary Antoine Russell, man, he really very much impressed me, and and and, and uh, yeah, I think that'd be a great match. Like like I think stylistically, I think Jack Catterall, who just beat Josh Taylor, he called out Teofimo Lopez. I think stylistically, that's a good matchup too. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Jack Catterall wins, but I think that's a very close matchup, man. I think stylistically, him and Teofimo match up very well. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm, I look forward to this. I was very happy to see it here that Gary Antoine Russell want to jump right in the fire, and it's just crazy. I was just talking about this matchup, man, potentially happening. Assuming that he could conquer Alberto Puello and assuming that Subaru Matias could conquer the Amparo, I think that's a great matchup right there, man. Him versus Subaru Matias, man. I would love that. That, that. that could be a main event on anybody's card. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. Oh, boy. 
I honestly don't know who wins that, man. I think it's a, uh, I think that's pretty much a 50 50 matchup, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Subaru Matias would be the favorite. Um, and I think Gary Antoine Russell would be the underdog. But as far as, you know what I'm saying, comparing the skills on paper, I really think that's a 50 50 matchup, man. Gary Antoine Russell and Subaru Matias. Y'all let me know in the comments who y'all think would win that matchup, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. But yeah, man, that's all I want to talk about, man. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. And remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.